In this video, we are going to see how to create content and images for blog posts using OpenAI and Switchboard Canvas. Now, let's say that you have got some data on Google Sheet, which is a spreadsheet, some titles. And with these titles, you want that blog should be written and also similar images should be created and should be saved to the same Google Sheet. How would you do that? For this, first you will have to integrate Google Sheets with OpenAI, which is going to help you in creating the blog because it is an, a very interesting application that will help you to create content. Then you have to integrate this with Switchboard, which will help you to create the image. And then finally, you have to save it back to Google Sheets. Now, doing this is really troublesome but here you will have to integrate these four applications and you would be able to automate this entire process here using public connect swiftier you can actually do this your trigger application would be google sheets and your action applications would be open ai switchboard and again google sheet now how can you do this yourself integrate and automate this entire process to understand that let me take you to my screen to begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, it will take us to the landing page of this software. Now here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you already have an account with us, simply sign in and if you do not, then first sign up. It won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. And if you already have an account, simply sign in. So I'm just going to sign in here. And now it has taken me to the all applications page. Since we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software, let's click on access now. So once we have done this here, we have reached the dashboard of this application on the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and another dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. So here, what is my objective? My objective is that I have to create content and images for blog posts using OpenAI and Switchboard Canvas. So basically, I have some data on Google Sheets. And with that, I have to create like I have some titles over there. With that, I have to create blog using OpenAI. So I have OpenAI. And then I also have to create images using Switchboard Canvas. So I'm going to integrate these three applications through this integration process. So I'm going to write this Google Sheets OpenAI Switchboard Canvas integration. Let's click on create. So once done here, we have reached another window, which has got two very important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically action is the response to your trigger. Now here my trigger application would be Google Sheets. Why? Because I will get the title from those sheets. So here I'm going to look for Google Sheets. This is it. And now the trigger event, this is the event that will make my workflow start. So I'm going to click on this and go to new or updated spreadsheet row. So once we are here, you can see that we have received a webhook URL. So this webhook URL is basically going to act as a bridge to connect two applications. So I'm going to copy this. And now I'm going to show you the sheet that I've already created. So this is OpenAI switchboard sheet. This is the name and it has only one sheet. The name of the sheet is sheet one. Now here I have the following column fields. First, I have the title. Then I have the image URL, which is a WordPress link. Then I have a caption, a publishing date. Then I have a blog and image url and these two columns are to be filled so with this particular title a blog should be created and image url you know should be received now to connect this particular google sheet with pabli connect i'm going to go to extensions then go to add-ons here i'm going to go to get add-ons once we are here we have reached the google workspace marketplace here we have to look for the application pabli connect webhooks this one now you can see that it has already been installed on my system if you do not have it please install it it will not take a lot of time once done close this window go back to extensions and you here you will find pabli connect webhooks now remember that the send on event has to be selected 
here we are going to go to initial setup once we are here you can see that it has already selected the sheet now i'm going to go back to public connect copy this once again and paste it over here and then the trigger column now trigger column is your final data column in which the data has been added so here it is the d column why because e and f they are empty so this is the d column so i'm going to write d over here now let's click on send test as soon as i do that here you can see that the test data has been sent successfully let's click on submit so once done, I'm going to go to public connect and as I scroll down here, you can see that we have received the API response. So this is the title. This is the image URL WordPress link, then the caption, publishing date, name of the spreadsheet, ID, sheet name, sheet ID, etc. Now, once we have received this, what is my next objective to write a blog with the given title for this? I'm going to use the next application, which is OpenAI. OpenAI is a very powerful application, which is literally interesting. Now here, the action event would be to generate content. Let's click on connect. So here, OpenAI has to be connected with Pabli Connect. To, for this, I'm going to click on add new connection. And here we need a token to set up this connection. To receive this token, I have to go to this hyperlink, OpenAI API keys page. So I've already logged into my OpenAI account. Let's click on this. And now here, this is the API key. I'm just going to copy this, go back to public connect and paste it over here. Once done, let's click on save to set up this connection. Let's come down. So we have to select the AI model, prompt, maximum tokens and all of this. To understand this entire thing, I'm going to take you to my OpenAI account first. So this is my OpenAI website. You can reach here by writing openai.com and we have to go to API. Once we are here, you have to log in. Now here, OpenAI is a very powerful application. It is an artificial intelligence research and development company, which can literally help you in content creation and many other ways. So here you can see on this particular page, we have the quick start tutorial, some examples, etc. Now we have to go to playground. Let's click on this. And now I'm going to show you some magic. Let's say write a story on friendship and I click on submit. Here you can see that it has already started to write a story. Isn't this interesting and so easy? Now you can ask me, why is the story so short? Why? Because here the maximum length has been selected as 256 tokens. You can always change it. If suppose you wish to write the reply to the comments that you have received on YouTube or Instagram, you can select it for 100 or 150 characters. If you wish to write a blog, you can select it up to 4,000 tokens. Here you have got different modes and the model. So here the model that we have selected is text that we see 002. Why? Because this is the most capable model in the GPT-3 series. It can perform almost all the tasks. So we are selecting this one. Now the temperature. Temperature basically controls randomness. So if you do not want your blog or data to be repetitive, then you have to select, you have to go for 0.7 or above till one. Then the maximum length. As I told you just now that you can select it up to 4,000 tokens. Next is stop sequence. So here you have to create a stop sequence. It can be anything like I am writing here double black backslash and double hashtag. This is my stop sequence. What is stop sequence? Basically, as soon as you write the sequence, your API will stop generating further tokens. So it will stop right there. Now you have top P, then the frequency penalty. Frequency penalty is again, it decreases the model's likelihood to repeat the same line again, again. And what is presence penalty? It is, it increases the model's likelihood to talk about new topics. I'm also going to show you what is prompt. So if I show you the view code here, you can see what is prompt. So this basically before your blog, whatever you write before the reply, once you submit, whatever you write is your prompt. So now I'm going to close this, go back to Pabli Connect. And here we have to select the AI model. So it has already been captured by the system. Now the prompt. So let's say I'm going to write, write a blog on the title. Okay. This is my prompt. 
and then I have to have the title. To receive this title, I'm going to map data. Mapping basically means that I already have received this information in the previous step. I'm just going to retrieve it. Let's go to step one, Google Sheets, and this is my title. So once this is done, the maximum token. So what was it? 256. Then the select sampling type. So we already have selected the temperature sampling within the sampling value, which is 0 0.7. Then the presence penalty, frequency penalty and stop sequence. So you can leave it empty so that the default values can be embedded. And the stop sequence is double backslash and hashtag. Right. And then the best of. Now also remember that here you can select the best of, which means that it generates multiple completion server side and displays only the best. So if you want the best of three, you can go for it. Actually, you have options still 10. So I'm just going to select one here, going back to public connect. I'm going to click on save and send test request. So as soon as we have done this, and I come down, this is your blog that has been written on the topic, life is what you make it. Once we have received this, what is my next objective that I have to get the image as well. For that, I'm going to add another action step. And this time the application is switchboard canvas. Let's go to this. The action event would be to create image. Let's click on connect. Again, public connect is asking to connect itself with the switchboard canvas account. So to set up this connection, let's click on add new connection. I've already logged into my switchboard canvas account. Here we have to write the API key. For this, I'm going to take you to my switchboard account. Okay, and here you have view your API key. Let's click on this. As we do that, this is my API key. Let's copy this, go back to public connect and simply paste it over here and click on save to set up the connection. So once we are done with this, here you can see it is asking me for the template. Now let me show you what are these templates with height, etc. So these are the various templates that I've already created on Switchboard. You can create a new template by clicking on this tab. Now let's say that I want this particular template thumbnails. Let's click on this. Now here you can see that the different elements we have here. This is text one, image two is this, and this one is image one. So this is your first image, this is your second image, and this is your text. Now let's say that I do not want this particular image, so I can simply delete it as well. I just want this text and the background image, right? So once done, I'm going to simply save this. Okay, this is done. Now I'm going to go back, let's select thumbnails. Now the width and height of the image. So let's say it is thousand by thousand. So this is going to be just like this. And then we have the image. So for this, I'm going to go to Google Sheets. This is the link and the text. So again, this is the caption. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see that we have received the response and this is the URL that I have just received. I'm going to copy this and open this on a new tab. Let's see. And here you can see, so this is the image that we have received. This is the background and this is the text that we have written. You can always select different images and different text. Now I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect. What is my next objective? That this information should now be a part of my Google Sheets. So the next application that I'm going to choose is Google Sheets once again. And here this time I'm going to add the action event as Look up spreadsheet rows. Let's click on connect. And now I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection. Let's click on save. So once done here, see the spreadsheet has been selected. The sheet has been selected. Now the lookup column. So lookup column is that which particular column do you want to go and check? So this is my Google sheet and I want to check all the columns from A to F. So here I'm going to write A comma F. This is my, these are my lookup columns. Now the lookup value. So I'm going to look for the title life is what you make it so that the block can be written in just in front of it. Next, do you want to include headers and response? Yes. How do you want to sort it from top to bottom? Let's click on save and send test request. Now here you can see that we have received the information and we have received the row index as well. Now. My next application again would be Google Sheets and in this action step first let me look for Google Sheets. 
and now I want to update the cell value. So I'm going to look for update cell value. Let's click on connect. Select the existing connection. Once done, here you can see again the spreadsheet and the sheet has been captured. Now the range, we have to select the range. So this is E column. I'm going to go back. Here I'm going to write E and then I'm going to go to the fourth step and row index 2. Now the value. So here what, what is the value that I want to put? blog for this i'm going to go to step two and this is the text so once done let's click on save and send test request so here it says that this information is now a part of the google sheet so if i take you to my google sheet see here right in front of the title the blog is written and now it is time for the image url so i'm again going to go back to Pabli connect and again i'm going to select another action step so the application is Google Sheets once again. Let's click on this. And again, I want to update cell value. So I'm going to look for this and click on connect. Select the existing connection. And now I'm going to again look for the range. So this time I want the image URL to be in F column. So going back to Pabli Connect, here it is F, lookup spreadsheet rows, and here row index 2. And then the value. So here I'm going to go to step 3 and look for the URL. Once done, let's click on save and send test request. And now I'm going to show you the Google Sheet. And yes, here you can see the blog is here and the image URL is here. Which basically means that this entire integration process is success. But now we also need to check it in real time. So I'm going to give it another title. Happy Vibes. And... Let's go to the WooCommerce account and this time I'm going to select this particular image. I'm going to copy this URL, go back to the Google Sheets, paste it over here. Now the caption. So I just want to write a caption which is life is a sip of coffee. Flashing and interesting. Okay, so this is the caption. Now publishing date is 28-09-2022 and now as soon as this is done, automatically the blog and the image URL should now be a part of the sheet. And now here you can see that this has been captured by our integration process. So finally here we have a blog on happy vibes and this is the file canvas. So I'm going to now show you this image. So here you can see life is a sip of coffee refreshing and interesting. This is how it will appear. I hope this is very much clear to you. I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand the entire process. So here our trigger application was Google Sheets and the trigger event was new or updated spreadsheet row. Then the next thing was open AI. So our action application was open AI where the event was to generate content. Next action application was Switchboard Canvas where the event was to create image. Then action application was Google Sheets where we had to search for the row. So we had used the event as lookup spreadsheet rows. Then using the same application, we had updated the cell value for the blog. And, and then we had again updated the cell value for the image URL. I hope this is very much clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the same workflow. This is given in the description box. Also, you can clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any other doubt or if you have any other suggestion or advice for us, you can always write to us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel, which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.